Hey everybody, Sniper the Lazy Man here. Welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1. So let's uh, show Clem what the, uh, what the plan is. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We should go our own way when we get there. The crew is falling apart. You and I are stronger alone. What about the boat? What about Ben? He'll be fine. Okay. Can we at least look for my parents when we get there, before we go? Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. Clementine. Please, Lee. All right, let's figure that out on the map. But then we're getting out of town. We have to stay moving. Yes, they can come with us, right? Yes. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. And unless Savannah is somehow walker free, we know we want to stay out of town. Are we going to have to live in the woods? You don't like the woods? I don't like the woods. Well, what I think we should do, after we look for your mom and dad, is head north. Keeping water, the, the ocean on our right side. So we can't get surprised by walkers. Exactly. I like the beach. Good. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. <laughs> Alright, good to know. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A 
group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. You want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? Mm. I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? <sighs> we just met Chuck, but he seems like an alright guy. You always have to worry about new people. I used to love meeting new people. That must have been a long time. Yeah, that was just my dart, like We're sorry for choking on something. Guys. The train is awesome, though. Or coughing or whatever. Real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess. If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. I don't even know if that's Let's even going to be caught on. We'll come down and settle in. Audio, but. If it does, that's that's the reason. So, what do we got? Anything here? That's about the only useful thing in here. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Hmm. All right, so let's figure out something. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, kid? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. All right, let's go over there. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Can I get down at all? Maybe... Ah. Get down. <laughs> Somebody must have been pretty desperate. Oh, right here, duh. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, 
Luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Jump in if you can. What about staying together? If there aren't any walkers in there, you'll be fine. It's too far to fall. Well, what do you think we should do? I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, good one. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Oh. Now why would there be a time limit for this? Hmm. <laughs> I actually more wonder what would happen if time would run out. Alright, so we can't just probably can't do it through that. I probably gotta space up there. push her up there again. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Oh. Too quickly. Uh, uh. Okay, now Clem, pass me the gun. Before anything else happens. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Clem, shoot now. it. Shoot it now. <laughs> Fuck, it's still locked. Yeah, I know, I was trying to grab the Fuck, keys. It's still locked. Ah. <laughs> Hate it when they change the buttons like that. It's always like I, I would expect it to always be X, but God they damn. put something else. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. Alright, let you 
Low torch. Well, that certainly seems like a good idea. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us, but we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. There's a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Well, it's just... I just so happened to pick this up earlier. Hope there's holes. Well, let's give that another go. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Can't reach it now. Can, uh, you reach it? Here. The weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no. But I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! <laughs> God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. <laughs> Guys, there's something coming. Well, that's certainly what you call a swarm of them. Torch. <laughs> what to God, this works. Holy crap! And let's get out of here. We gotta jump. What? No way! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! I mean, I don't want to leave you, but if you're not going to listen to me, then do it by yourself. Mono me, get in here. No, her, not me. Krista, no! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? Dude, you're the one who's injured. It's okay, honey. I'm okay. 
Don't be snapping at me. You're the one with the broken leg, pretty much. That, and I don't want Chris that saying, Oh, why'd you save me? You should have saved Omid. He's the one who's injured. Speak for yourself. My leg is fine. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Dog, what do you want? Um. Oh my god, get up here. Stupid dog, I swear. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Being really needy today, and I don't know why. think it's it's time she and I parted ways with you. Omid and Krista can make their own call. Huh. I'm sorry. We made a plan. We talked it through. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. <laughs> what the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. That. If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Well, things are definitely going to be getting interesting. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We can still leave, Clem. Just you and me. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you going to tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. All right, so. 59% did not shoot the girl. Uh, 42 left Lily, 55 fought Kenny, 79, I'm surprised it's actually that, that, that low, I think 79 seems pretty low, and uh, 55 helped Omid, and alright, so that's, uh, that's the end of episode 3, Long Road Ahead, uh, let me just, as usual, cut to the main menu, And so, uh, so next time we will, uh, head off to episode four around every corner. So for, uh, Lee and Clementine, we will see you all next time.